All right, guys. <clears throat> hey, let's do a daily dose of Ditzel. Uh, listen to this. Uh, what is with these teachers, man? Counselor, this is from uh, People Magazine via Yahoo News. Counselor at 20K a year school allegedly had sexual relationship with teen student. Uh, so, <clears throat> what is the deal, man? There are one of these stories twice a week, three times a week. <clears throat> I mean, it's usually the same demographic or roughly the same age range of the uh, suspects. Why? What is the deal? They're always in their late 20s, early 30s. I'm just generalizing. Sometimes, sometimes low 20s. 20s. 20s and early 30s. These stories are epidemic. <clears throat> this was in, um, give you more details on this. A 25-year-old, this is People Magazine, South Carolina school counselor at an upscale private school has lost her job after being accused of a sexual relationship with a current student. This tuition is 20 grand. Yeah, my parents would laugh at that. At <laughs> 20,000. Actually, that's not bad. I know some people whose kids' private school is more like 40,000 plus, but... My parents would have laughed at that. They would have said, yeah, yeah, sure. The uh, public, uh, public high school is down the street. Uh, <clears throat> all right, Drew Brees is another story. Drew Brees filed multi-million dollar jewelry lawsuit. So the, all I'm doing is looking for ideas to write comedy on. Uh, Saints quarterback Drew Brees, this is NBC Sports via Yahoo News. Saints Quarterback Drew Brees has made many millions. He'll now try to make millions in the courtroom. He sued this jewelry store in San Diego. He purchased $15 million worth of jewelry. And it is independently appraised of being worth $9 million less. Oh, my God. He paid $8 million for a ring, but it's been appraised at only less than $4 million. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of money. There's, there's a, wait, yeah, 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 and then this, <clears throat> this story, is, so I don't know what's going on with that Drew Brees thing, but it's just kind of funny. All right, so this is an interesting story, obnoxious, this is uh, Yahoo Finance, I think that's all it is, well, let's see, story continues, New York Post, ah, that makes more sense. So this is New York Post. <laughs> Obnoxious passenger shamed back to coach after helping herself to upgrade. So she walks up into uh, first class and then lays down across the seats. <laughs> she walked up into first class and then lifted up the... Uh, armrests on, uh, you know, three seats, and then uh, just laid down, laid down, took a stretch, took a nap. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Airlines. <laughs> oh, it's actually more like business class, they said. It's China. Let's say AirAsia flight has what they call X premium class, which is closer to business class than first class. Okay, but still. <laughs> so they booted her out and she came back two more times for a total of three times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's great stuff. All right, let's look for a couple more and then uh, I got a split. Channing Tatum breaking up with his wife. His wife is gorgeous, man. Jeez. Jenna Duan. Wow. I love brunettes. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. It's Hollywood. Uh, let's see. Oklahoma teacher, Oklahoma teachers go on strike and rally at state capitol. So I know everybody's not, you know, a lot of my conservative friends are like, well, it's a teacher's union, blah, blah, blah. But come on, they're teachers. And second of all, 
I read one story where they barely have enough money for books. They have like, you know, 30 books for 90 students, something like that. I don't think these teachers are faking this, like the book story, so come on. Uh, what is it with this society that we d downgrade educators? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. But, all right, let's move on. Villagers get vengeance on bear that mauled father. Okay, Lisa Renner's daughter reveals former struggle with an eating disorder. Yeah, that's what I have, an eating disorder. I eat too much. Two Florida Republicans, not, 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 to, not to make fun of people with eating disorders, making fun of myself there. I know I was going to get emails. Uh, two Florida Republicans now joining calls for Scott Pruitt to resign or whatever. Uh, Elon Musk took charge of Model 3 production, saying it's his most critical job right now. Owner of New Jersey gas station that sold Mega Millions ticket to split winnings with employees. Now looky there, there you go. The owner of a New Jersey gas station is going to split the Mega Millions ticket with his employees. There you go. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Texas teen gets into 20 colleges. Receives full rides to all of them. I should have applied to more colleges, actually, but I was happy. I was happy with Ohio University. Go Bobcats. Uh, eating pasta linked to weight loss. What? <laughs> let's, let's open that up. This is a news. This is, this is Newsweek via Yahoo News. Thanks to the popularity of low carbohydrate diets, such as keto and paleo. I think it's keto or keto. I've heard people say keto, like ketotonic. I don't know. And paleo foods like pasta are widely seen as enemy number one, but a study linking pasta to weight loss suggests the Italian staple has been wrongly vilified. That's right. Why are you picking on pasta? It all comes down to pasta's low GCI, glycemic index, according to researchers. Uh, GI is a system used to rate how quickly a food affects blood sugar levels. Uh, levels. In high GI foods, such as white rice, white bread, and potatoes, you know, the, the blood uh, sugar level spikes quick, while as low GI foods such as green vegetables and lentils, it's burned slowly. I didn't know pasta had a low glycemic index. Oh, man, you shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll have the pasta. <laughs> I'm losing weight. I have to watch my diet. I'll have the pasta. Oh, that's good news. All right, let's stop there. We'll come back later. See ya.